We're on the shores of Deer Creek, California with yet another urgent salmon extinction update. Deer Creek is home to one of the last populations of wild spring run Chinook salmon. Behind me, biologists from the Department of California Fish and Wildlife are capturing juvenile salmon with the hopes of initiating a captive brood program to save the genetic viability of this population here in Deer Creek. If you've been following our Spring Run Chinook story, you know that Spring Run Chinook salmon are very special fish. Spring Run enter California's freshwater in the springtime and penetrate high, high in the upper watershed while taking advantage of snow melt. You've also learned that modern dams restrict access to those upper watersheds. Here in the Central Valley, there are only three creeks left, three undammed creeks that allow Spring Run Chinook salmon access to their native spawning grounds. Butte Creek, Mill Creek, and here on Deer Creek. We're just handing him. You want Oh, See the yellow fins? That's a male, huh? I, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. In the bucket. Nice. Go, little guy. Let's check in with Matt Johnson from the Department of Fish and Wildlife to learn a little bit more about the population here on Deer Creek, what this capture program means for the future, and if there's any hope for spring run in California. Matt, it's good to see you. Hey, Joe. Good to see you, too. Hey, we're back on Deer Creek. It's, it's, it's been three years. The spring run have come back too. Um, sadly, it's even worse than last time we were here. So salmon populations fluctuate naturally. Um, they, they undergo boom and bust cycles. But since about 2016, um, Deer Creek Spring Run Chinook have really been on the brink of, of viability meaning the numbers of fish returning aren't sufficient uh, for this species to persist over time. They're really in trouble. That low po spawning population we were looking at in 2020, those juveniles went out into drought conditions. You know, we were talking about that. I was worried about that. We, we see those drought conditions really exerting poor survival conditions on juvenile spring run trying to get to the ocean. And that bore out in returns coming back three, year la three years later in 23. We estimate that less than 25 spring run have returned to Deer Creek this year. It hasn't just happened to Deer Creek, it's happened to the whole Central Valley population, the Evolutionary Significant Unit or ESU, this amalgamation of spring run populations, but Deer Mill and Butte represent the three remaining independent populations. So what we're doing out here is capturing juveniles to bring into captivity. So where are these fish going to right now? And what's the next stop for these fish? So we are taking these fish to UC Davis to a facility there where they have a long history of taking sensitive fish species into captivity to help propagate them, to study them. This, these fish are gonna form what we call a captive brood population of Central Valley Spring Run Chinook salmon. It's gonna be like a little insurance policy. Numbers are so bad this year that it triggered what we're calling an emergency action. A group of fish agencies, California Department of Fish and Wild Wildlife, National Marine Fisheries Service, we were like, it's time to take an action. And that's what we're doing today. It's, it's sad. It, it honestly breaks my heart. This is a truly wild fish, some of the wildest salmon left in California. We're gonna go domesticate this, some of these fish, but we're gonna do it the right way. We're targeting 500 fish from Mil Deer Creek, 500 from Mill, and 500 from Butte Creek to maintain genetic, genetic diversity in this captive brood population. Captive brood is a small population 
to make fish at scale, you need a full-on hatchery to grow hundreds of thousands of fish. Hopefully we don't have to do that, but this is the first step if we need to go to that, down that road. I hesitate to use this word unprecedented because it gets thrown around a lot these days, but the action that, that the department and the cooperative agencies are taking right now with, with starting this, this brood program, is that unprecedented in your career? It is. It, it's unprecedented for Central Valley Spring Run Chinook. It's, I've never done this in my career. We're following the footsteps of what was done for Sacramento River Winter Run Chinook. We're, we're doing our best to, to replicate that. Um, and this is just the start, like I said. This isn't the full-blown conservation hatchery program. We're going to work our way towards that, but hopefully we don't need it. Hopefully the fish can rebound on their own, but in case they can't, we're taking this action to make sure we can intervene, put our best foot forward, and keep the species from blinking out, restore it, have salmon return into Deer Creek, have them return into this wild place, which is uniquely Californian. I uh, can't imagine Deer Creek without Spring Run. It's a beautiful place, but the salmon are that secret sauce. Deer Creek just needs to be Deer Creek. Uh, this is this is the public trust. This is belongs to all of California. We, it's our job to make sure salmon stay here for California going into the future.